Don't you ever wish that you could just dunk everything into a pot and allow it to slow braise? If you and I are on the same note, then this dish is for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you do not miss a single gourmet cooking made easy creation week on week. Into a large cast iron goes in 200 grams of carrots just peeled and cut into half lengthwise along with one of these gorgeous nuts that's the butternut. Peeled, seeds removed and just cut into large quarters and chunks. I've taken two sweet potatoes, peeled it and just cut it into large dices as well and look at that play of colors. Into that goes in three turnips just peeled and cut into half. Now comes adding the flavorings, so one onion finely chopped up, the red onion going in and we're going to drizzle about one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice into this mix. Nearly about 50 ml of extra virgin olive oil going on top along with a teaspoon of Chezwan pink peppercorn sea salt. So I've just taken about half a teaspoon of Chezwan peppercorns and half a teaspoon of sea salt. Eight cloves of garlic and three dehydrated red chilies just cut into the largest slivers. All you need to do is give this all a good mix now so that the flavor intensifies. And we want more orangey autumnal wonder. So we're taking the rind of an orange and we're going to just put about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half on it right on top and the reason why I'm doing it over the pot is because I want all those essential oils to go right in. A quick stir again just so that all the flavors merge really well. This style of cooking is where you sit in front of the telly and just enjoy this wholesome bowl of goodness. A bunch of dehydrated rosemary sprigs and I've tied it up so that the rosemary doesn't leave out too much of its flavor within. I'm just going to intensify the flavors of this with some yuzu extract and this is totally totally optional and you can skip it altogether. A quick stir and this is ready to go bang into the oven. I'm just going to dunk this in the center and ready to go in. I'm going to slow braise this at 140 degrees Celsius for exactly an hour and this is the time where I get about finishing all my chores at home. Technically an hour, but I have left it in for nearly an hour and a half and that's the beauty about braising where you allow the flavors to intensify and the low temperature doesn't create too much of havoc. Look at that beautiful play of color. We're just going to put our hands in and that's lazy cooking. Take out the stock. And I'm going to dunk all this right into a beautiful glass bowl. Dinner is ready. Just slide all this in with that syrupy goodness. But this also forms the base for a perfect side for Thanksgiving or any decadent festive fare. I'm going to intensify the flavors just by slicing an orange and squeezing it on top and I'm just putting my hand so that I avoid the seeds and even if they fall in it doesn't really matter it's home style home cooking done right. Garnishing this with an overload of some finely shredded cilantro leaves. We are going to enjoy this right in front of the TV just with some bowls. Though vegan in nature, this can be the perfect side to your holiday roast. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a note below.